the Title 42 immigration policy expiring at about 11 o'clock our time tonight. Local groups like the South Texas Human Rights Center are providing resources like water to those who are seeking a better future on American soil. Our Simone Simpson spoke with the organization's founder and joins us now with more. Simone. Mike, Eddie Canales' organization has been in Brooks County in Valfurias for 10 years. He said the system is broken. Despite his team's dozens of water stations throughout that community, he says migrants die there all the time. That area, Brooks County, is the corridor of death. Canales, the founder of the South Texas Human Rights Center, says even with dozens of water stations, more has to be done to help migrants who can't help themselves. We operate a hotline. The calls that we get are from families who, who had a, an individual, a family member, cross the border and, and get lost. The organization's mission is simple. They're trying to get through for very basic human rights, to survive and to make it through. They come here to work, how compassionate can we be? But the nonprofit is at capacity. His call to action is updating government policy. We're consistently doing our work, and you know, but the policies have to be changed. The policies have to be changed that doesn't cause death. Well, they tear down fences, they break into homes, they start fires, they tear up water sources, steal vehicles. So the, the list goes on and on and on. And uh, there's just total lawlessness involved with this open border policy. Dr. Michael Vickers serves as the chairman of the Texas Border Volunteers, a citizen militia group. Last week, this is what he encountered. And when I was leaving the ranch at 7.30 in the morning, I had five Border Patrol e agent, uh, units and multiple agents and uh, a DPS unit on my property trying to apprehend that traffic. Last week, Texas Border Volunteers rescued this young man during border operations. We're hoping that we can get help from uh, Governor Abbott. Both Canales and Vickers have seen an influx of migrants and are preparing for the unknown. Everybody's a human, they have human needs, they need very basic human rights, and, and we, we need to shift the, the paradigm about just enforcement and look at social protection of the people that come here to serve this country, to work in this country. We'll see what happens uh, as of midnight tonight. Uh, it could be real alarming and dangerous for, for everybody along the border. With the expected influx of migrants and the worsening weather conditions, the South Texas Human Rights Center is in need of gallon water donations. The organization maintains hundreds of water stations in Brooks County on both public and private lands. You can drop off gallons of water at the American Federation of Teachers offices at 4455 SPID Suite 48. Back to you. Simone, thank you for that.